Welcome back. This is Dan Heavey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to answer Val's question. He was wondering about, he's got a site he's working on here, and he's got uh, four four images across like this, and what he wants is when it goes to mobile, he wants them all to stack on, or not stack on top of each other. That's what he doesn't want. <laughs> what he wants is them to be two by two on here. So normally what you're going to get, especially the way he built it here, is you're just going to get all these images stacking up on top of each other and he wants them to be uh, two across and so two columns and two rows so that's what I built out here for him and here we are in mobile view we are at 768 pixels that's important because the breakpoint for click funnels for mobile is at 770 so you want to make sure you always have it set to below that and then if we go out to a laptop size, then we have them all across like this. And the reason why I put this border around here is just when I show you the different ways of spacing this out that you can uh, see the differences. So again, here is a mobile size or 768. And let's see here. Now we get down to 425. So I just see here we may have a problem because... At some point here, we're really starting to run out of room. So what we need to do on all of these is let me come back in here and I want to put a little bit of margin on either side just so that when we go to a really small view, uh, we're not going to have a problem. So let me just go margin. Uh, let me see here. What do I want to do? Because I want to combine these two. So let me do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do a shortcut. And in a shortcut, if you want, because you already see on the screen here, I have uh, 20 uh, margin top of 20 pixels. So what we're going to say here is we want 20 pixels because that'll be the top of it. And then we're going to go to the right-hand side. And let's just say we just want five pixels on the right hand side and then on the bottom we don't want any pixels at all so we're just going to say zero you don't have to put the px after it and then on the left hand side we want to put in another five pixels and we're going to put in the term important again just because we need to override the top margin setting that you would put inside of the click funnels editor so let's just put a slash in front of it and kill that line so now let's save it and then if this all worked out right, I'll come back and show you exactly what I got set up in here. I didn't, uh, hadn't tested for this problem ahead of time. So that's why we ran into it on the fly here. So let's see what we come up with. And that didn't work. And the reason why is I set the width of each of these items here to 50% of the width of the page. And because we added that five pixels of margin on either side, that caused a problem. So what we need to do is actually do a calc function on this. So what we're going to say here is we're going to say calc of 50% minus five pixels and then let's save this and let's see if it works this time and you probably caught the mistake as I typed it in I put in five pixels what I should have put in is 10 pixels because we got five on either side and then once we do that set these as 50 percent of the width of the page minus the 10 pixels then they will line up perfectly in mobile and now let's just go back here to desktop and it'll be the same there so let me show you how I set this up so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to turn off some of the CSS, uh, particularly here, this display flex. Because what you're going to see now is all I did is I came in here and I put in a row and I put, a, put the border around the row, like I said, just for the purpose of showing you spacing. And then I put in four different images and each one of these images I made uh, 200 by 200 because his images are basically square and uh, 200. So that's what I made is all uh, 200 by 200 here. And then all, all you have to do after that is you just come into your CSS and you grab a hold of the column because let me show you here. All of this here is in one single column. So we, when we look at this, let's uh, go out of here. Let's turn that off. Let's take a look at this. Whenever you're using flex, you always want to go to the parent element of the elements that you want to be flexing. And in this case here, flexing or lining up in some way. So in this case here, we want to be lining up all these L image wrapper elements right here, which hold the actual image inside of them. We want to be 
lining them up. And so you always go to the parent element or the one element outside of it, which is this div element, which is also our call inner, which is when you go in and you grab the CSS ID selector out of a column, it's always the name of the column or the ID of the column with the class of call inner. So the easiest way to grab that is just to come into our columns, click on that, open up this first column, come down to the hashtag at the bottom and grab that out right there. So that's how you get your column. So we got our four images all stacked on top of each other inside of that singular column. And we grab the name of the column and put it in here. And then we're going to say here, display of flex. And then you're going to see behind me here, let me shorten this up. You're going to see behind me here, they all lined up uh, side by each right there. And then we're going to put in here flex wrap of wrap. Now, the reason why we're going to put that in here is because when we go to mobile, we want those, those last two to go flipping down to the bottom. Now, you could put in six items here too, and if you did that, it'll be three lines of two columns each, and it'll flip each one down to the next line. So you could, you could put a whole bunch of things in here. And by changing this instead of 50%, if you made that 33%, you could put three per line. So there's a lot of flexibility on what you can do here. But we don't want to put the flex wrap part down here because this is only for the divs itself. And like I said, you always got to do whatever you're doing with flex always has to be in the outer element. So that's why we have to have it here. And like I said, that just says to allow it to fl uh, float down to the next line. So now there's a couple of different ways that we can space out these elements. You could come in here and just say, all right, I want each element to be 25% of the width and I want this amount of margin in between, and then they would line up that way. Um, or you can come in here and you could use what is known as this justify content, and where I have it set right now is space between. So you're gonna get an equal amount of space between these elements right here, and then this on the side is actually like 15 pixels, 20 pixels, I forget, I think it's 15 pixels of padding that ClickFunnels automatically puts into this row. You can, of course, take that out if you want, but that's a different lesson. So here we got our justify content of space between. Now we can change this out and we can make this to space around. And what you're going to see then is you're going to get an equal amount of space on either side here. So this part here in the middle is actually two times the size of this because it's adding the equal amount of space on either side of each one of these elements right here. And then you got a third one, which is space evenly. And if I take that off, then we're going to have this amount of space here is equal to the amount of space over here. So it's just different ways of lining this up. And I'm just going to turn off two of these and leave it at space between because space between basically pushes it out to the furthest edges. Then the next thing we have to say is we only want when it goes to two lines where it wraps around, we only want that in for a mobile device. And again, I said earlier that the breakpoint for ClickFunnels for a mobile device is 770 pixels. So we want to see here that we want, and they refer to it as a media query. So we want to say for our media query on a computer screen, because there's different ways you could do it. You could do it on a printer and other things, but I frankly have only ever seen it done on a screen. And then we got um, max width of 770 pixels. And I just completely messed that up there. Let me put that back where it was. Accidentally slid that over there. So max width of 770 pixels is where we want because that's where the break point's going to be. You could even make it like 769 if you wanted to. So then what we have here is we have again the same uh, same column up here, the call inner, but we have to go to the div because what I said is, so our call inner is right here. We got to look at all the elements inside of it. So we can call it by calling it as the div, which is the element, or we could call it by the class and put in L image wrapper. Just the easiest thing to do is just call it by the div. And so we're going to call it by the div. And you saw what I did here before. I have a width that we calculated of 50% of the width of the element it's inside of. So it's 50% of that column's width then minus the 10 pixels, which you saw us put in uh, on the fly earlier. 
So that's what we got here. So then we got the margin on the top of 20 pixels. Now, again, I'm only setting the margin top here on the mobile device because if we didn't, the two of them would be smushed up together top to bottom. And I wanted to be able to put some space in there. So that's why we dropped in that extra 20 pixels, whereas none of these elements have any top margin on them at all on the, on the desktop. And so that is it. Let's save it one more time and let's uh, reload that page. Just make sure I didn't mess anything up and that's still working. And let's go over here. Let's go to mobile and let's see what we got here. So here's our tablet size of 768. And we'll go down mobile of 425. So we got a little space here. You might want to go a little bit more, maybe 10 pixels on that, especially because we want maybe to keep this uh, congruent here, the spacing on that. And then where do we got here? 375. Yeah, I'd probably go 10 pixels in between here instead of the, the 5. And then and I was going to say you don't really want it on the outside, but because we're doing it on all four of them simultaneously. I mean, you could do it. It's just a bunch more code that you'd have to in order to take off the, uh, the pixels over here on the, uh, the left and on the right on the outside of it. But that is it for this one. Any questions, let me know.